An action is a recording of a sequence of commands or edits that perform a certain task in Photoshop. By recording and saving the sequence of steps needed to perform a particular edit, users are able to store and replay it on different images. The ability to replay the action allows the same edit to be performed on a new image without having to literally perform each step manually. This saves time and ensures consistency if consistency is important. Actions are also used to apply cool effects. Creating flame text might be a 50 step process, but playing a flame text action is only one step, press play. The main goal of actions is to automate repetitive tasks to maximize productivity. Actions can be used to execute a number of things that a Photoshop user would want to perform. The key is that the action should be used to perform something that you want to repeat often. Creating a 50 step action to apply flame text doesn't really make sense if you never want to create additional examples of flame text. The best way to use an action is to create and save the steps needed to repeat something you want to do over and over. These tasks can be simple, complex, boring, or even cumbersome. Some good examples of when to use an action include converting files from one color mode to another, maybe from RGB to CMYK in preparation for commercial printing, to apply a black and white adjustment on a colored image, to add contrast and or saturation to a series of photographs, to create a stylized vignette as a border on a series of images, to sharpen images in preparation of output. We sharpen the pixels before printing to lessen the impact dot gain has on the final product. Dot gain occurs when wet ink hits paper. It is naturally absorbed into the paper, causing the dot of ink to spread. You can also use actions to convert images to different file formats like JPEGs, TIFFs, PDFs, or PNGs, and to perform standard preflight processes. There are several actions available in Photoshop ready for you to use called presets. All of the actions you see on the graphic on the screen are presets available by simply opening the Actions panel. Some examples of preset actions include vignette, wood frame, molten lead, and quadrant colors. In addition, you can append even more presets via the Option Flyout menu. Those are stored in categories and include commands, frames, image effects, production, text effects, and textures, to name a few. If none of the presets work for your needs, you also have the ability to create your own custom actions or even download actions others have created and shared. The whole idea is to save time and standardize aspects of your editing. A popular goal is to make post-production editing more efficient by doing things like applying an unsharp mask, converting color modes and resolutions, etc. via an action.